What is going on guys? I be Dylan. Today I have a pretty cool little video for you and I only feel it's necessary because the wipe is coming. And this is a pretty cool little way to hide your loot. I'm sure a lot of people already know about this and check it every single time they even see it that it could be possible happening. But for those of you who don't know about it, it's pretty cool. So you can actually store your chest inside of trees and it's not like back when the game first came out where you could literally just cut down a tree and put it right on top of the trunk. You actually build a shelter over it. And I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So the server just wiped and you're literally stuck with nothing and you have to start gathering resources to build your base. And that can be really frustrating whenever you build a shelter just right out in the open and you have all your stuff in there and then you're gone for a few hours, you come back and it's all gone raided. So that's no good. So regardless or not of whether or not this is still raidable, you have a better chance of not getting all of your stuff stolen to the people who might not know how to do this. So what you want to do is build you a shelter, or a small shack, just like this. Find a tree that's kind of on level ground like this one right here. And you see how it sticks through the shelter of the tree? You want to get it as close, well not all the way as close, but you want to get a good amount. I normally go by that middle leg. The middle leg is a good indicator right there. And I would say right about there is a really good spot. So now you have this shelter and it's just halfway in the tree. Now, most people would be like, oh, hey, look, this dude just put his shelter in the tree. They raid you, whatever, whatever. They kill all your stuff and they leave. Um, expert players might know, hey, there's a chest inside of this, which, I mean, I always would know that because obviously I do this a lot. So, um, but once you have the tree within the shelter, go ahead and get you an ax, cut down this mug, Alright, now, this is a bad thing. Normally, you wouldn't want the trunk to come through at all, because that's going to prevent me from building a chest. So, I might have to scoot mine over a little bit and just hope that it's still covered. But if this happens, you might as well just restart, because you don't even want to change your chest sticking out even a little bit. So, I'm just going to put it right here, even though it might not necessarily be covered up by the tree in this very instant instance because of this. But I'm just going to put mine right here. And just believe me that when the tree grows back, that'll be covered. So, but normally I would scoot it over to right here. Just, I can't because of that. Okay, so now that you have that, what I always do, just to make this a little more foolproof, because even when the tree grows back and say somebody's looting and you have a chest out here, they hit tab, they'll still be able to see everything within the chest that's in the tree. So what I do is I just try to make this place as cluttered as possible because people do not like clutter. I have come to notice. So I actually crafted a workbench and it didn't give it to me so I don't know what that's about. But what I would normally do is get a workbench, put it right here straight across to where you can still have a little bit of walking room right here to where you can get behind here and cut down this tree from behind the workbench. And then what I do after that is I place barrels right in front of the workbench just like so okay so when somebody walks in here they're gonna be like oh my gosh this place is freaking cluttered as crap and i always put another chest right here and that's your decoy chest and that you just kind of stash you want to put a few decent things in there so whenever you get looted they're like oh okay i got all this guy's stuff like maybe like throw like a few ammo in there you know just some a, not too much good stuff, but just a few things where they'd be like, oh, okay, I guess that's all of his stuff. That makes sense. So what you do is you walk in, you have the two barrels, a workbench right here, and you have this little tiny walkway. Because, you know, right here when you hit tab, you're not going to be able to proximity all the way to the tree. So it's really neat. And then you come behind here, and every time you want inside this chest that's in the tree, you have to cut it down. So it's smart to leave an axe inside of this chest right here. So you can always just grab an axe, cut down the tree, put the axe back. And of course you want to put your front door on here. I'm not even going to lock it, I mean, I'm just using this for an example, so. So once you have all that done, you can literally stash anything you want in here and you have a way less likely chance of actually getting all your loot stolen. And this is really good for when you're logging out because, you know, a lot of people are really scared that, oh man, oh, what if overnight I get raided? I can say from personal experience that I did this and this was my main base for a while, before I even built a base. Like, this is what I did. And I got raided probably six or seven times, not even lying to you. 
all my ammo, which was probably over a thousand rounds and just crazy amounts of building materials, was still safe inside this chest because nobody knew about this. At least who raided me anyway. So I'm saying like, your percentage of not getting all your crap stolen is way, way better than if you were to just build out in the middle of nowhere with just a couple chests on the, on the, you know, the floor. So, and what's good is the tree grows back after like 15 minutes. So you don't have to worry about, you know, you only have like a 15 minute window. You really have to be worried about getting raided after cutting down the tree. So this is just my little tutorial on how I keep my loot safe. And I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like. And I'm actually going to be starting a new series. If you haven't heard of the game called Subnautica, I'm going to be doing a let's play with that. I'm going to be playing that game a lot until the next wipe. I'm kind of done playing H1Z1 as my main game for now until the wipe so I can grind and build a base and all that good stuff again. So I'll still be uploading like little videos like this, just how to videos and tips and tricks. So. But like, like I said, if you like the video, please leave a like. If you want to subscribe for more gaming content, you can. Thank you guys for watching and have a blessed day.